Inflation is subdued, and there is nothing the Fed can do about it. Inflation pressure is low because of A, demographics, and B, transparency with enhanced competition. First, demographics. Baby boomers are retiring and spending less, a lot less. Their appetite for spending shrinks in retirement. They're earning less. Many were depending on interest income from savings, and super low interest rates have destroyed that source of income. New generations are entering the workforce, but not in as large a numbers as in the past. And the younger generations are saddled with huge student debt loads, meaning they marry later, have kids later, buy a house later. So they cannot make up the slack from the retiring boomers. Second, price transparency with enhanced competition. The internet has brought power to the consumers in the form of price transparency and the ease of competitive shopping. Companies must focus on cost cutting to maintain their profit margins rather than raising prices, because raising prices can mean loss of business. And the cost focus has meant very sluggish wage gains. The Fed has no antidote to either demographics or price transparency with enhanced competition. The Fed tried near zero short-term interest rates, failed. Low rates helped to sustain equity markets by lowering corporate borrowing costs, and that helped companies maintain profit margins in this era of price transparency. But low rates reduce spending because they hurt the middle class and low income savers, as well as baby boomers hoping their savings would throw off some interest. The Fed has tried massive purchases of treasury debt securities and mortgages, known as QE or quantitative easing, failed. QE worked to support equity rallies by reducing market volatility and lowering the hurdle rate for equities. But QE had virtually no impact on consumer spending because the asset price inflation mostly helped the very wealthy who spend only a small proportion of any stock market gain. The Fed is just now coming to terms with its lack of power. I'm Blue Putnam, Chief Economist, CME Group.